Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's my favorite thing to do in this game, ranking up, leveling up my champions, and watching them get stronger. Now in this video, we're going to be taking my 19th 5-star to rank 5. And if you've been watching my channel, you probably have a very good idea of who I'm about to take up to rank five next. So without further ado, it is going to be Domino. So while we rank her up, I will tell you a little bit about Domino and why I chose to take her to rank five. Now, if you've ever fought against Domino, you know how devastating she can be on defense. And she does not need to be awakened her awakened ability gives her more damage it puts a damage over time on her critical bleeds or critical failures but even though she is not awakened she is by far rank five worthy now i've wanted domino for a long time she's not a new champion but I just could not pull her from the crystals. She has been on my most wanted list for a long time. And I pulled a Red Hulk. We'll look at that a little bit later. That's one of her synergies. I also pulled a Masakri, which is another one of her synergies. But no Domino. So I decided to take her off of my most wanted list. After all, she's a high damage dealer, but I also have Corvus and Ghost. So it's not like I needed her. And soon after, I decided to take her off of my most wanted list. They come out with her arena. So of course I had to go for her. Everyone that knew me knew how much I wanted that Domino, or at least she was on my most wanted list. You can see it in, in my videos, uh, my crystal opening, she's always there. So I had to go for it. And she went pretty low because she's not a new champion, even though she is great. She's not new. A lot of people already have her or they have others that they prefer over her. Now, I want to have as diverse of a roster as I can. So even though I have Corvus and Ghost, there are still going to be fights where Domino might be the better choice. It doesn't mean that you can't use either of them in those fights, but Domino might be the better choice, may save you more resources. Uh, for example, with Corvus, he's awakened... He won't die as long as he has those charges. So that allows me to use him in situations that don't really suit him, but I can brute force fights like that crossbones and uh, act six. I used Corvus and about three revives, maybe four. And that's how I took down that crossbones. But there were better options uh, not Domino, but there were better options. But I'm just giving you uh, an example of situations where you may use a less than optimal champ just to get the content done. All right. Uh, as you can see here, she's ranked four. You see that rank up gem right there? We are about to use that. Boom. And she is ranked five. That rank up gem is is the only generic rank four to five gem that has ever been in this game. And I used it on Domino. I still have some resources and I will be able to take up another champion uh, to rank five. Should I get, say, an Omega Red, you know, um, Clairvoyant, uh, any, any number of rank five worthy champions. But I chose to use uh, use it on Domino. Uh, it's not doing me any good uh, sitting there, right? And I do have resources. So 
may as well use it. And in my opinion, she is worthy. If I had an Omega Red, I would have used it on him. Even though I do have the six star that I took to rank two, I would still use that generic if I had gotten an Omega uh, Red. But I've gone 21 five star crystals without a new champion. My new champions for quite some time now have come from Arena. This domino here, I got from Arena. Uh, by the way, I ran out of Mutant ISO. Do not do what you see me doing here. Uh, it's better to use the same class for the champion because you will save money. Uh, but as you can see, my gold stash, not really concerned with gold. And I just want to get her uh, leveled up, maxed out. All right, so Domino, especially with the synergy with um, Red Hulk, can do some fights that Corvus wouldn't be able to do in fewer resources. Uh, for example, Variant. Uh, in, I believe, Variant 2? I think it's 2. Uh, it could be 1, possibly 2. Uh, where you have the, um, I think it's two, Micro Reflect and the Particle Protector and all of that. Basically, you take damage if you are not an extra large champion if you fire off anything other than a heavy attack. All right? And so Domino, her heavy with Red Hulk, and we're going to take a look at that here. Uh, is crazy good. All right, so you guys can read that, but I want to talk about those two in particular. When we do the domino gameplay, I do have several of these, but you see Masakri adds one second to her debuffs. Now, let me tell you why that's good. If you're doing a path that has limber, you never have to worry about it. All right, and you can see with the Red Hulk synergy, uh, she gets an incinerate on her heavy attack, and you're going to see just how powerful that incinerate is. All right. Now, I love those two synergies out of all of them. Those seem to be the most useful, the Red Hulk and the Masakri. Uh, I did a video some time ago with a four-star domino invariant on a limber. And she never had to worry about it. I could always parry and heavy. No matter how many times, it was infinite. That is awesome. Now see, something like that, take Corvus in there, not so good. Now Ghost, yes, Ghost can do that. Corvus, not so well. Um, so that's why I want to have as diverse of a roster as I possibly can. Now I'm scrolling through her abilities. This is not, um, an in-depth look at Domino. Like I said, she's not a new champion. Uh, but I did want to show you her abilities at least, uh, so you could read through them. All right. So we're going to go into realm of legends and you can see the team here that I decided to go in here with. And again, we looked at the uh, synergies, but I'm showing you the synergies that are active. Okay, so we've got more attack. Uh, we've got that extra second. And we've got the incinerate on the heavy. All right. And the Red Hulk, or the rather the OG Hulk with Red Hulk, is just more uh, damage. It's that extra attack, 6% attack. All right, I just threw him in there. Uh, I've seen other teams as well uh, that work pretty well, like Heimdall and Angela um, can give, hit, uh, give her even more attack than that 6%. All right, so off we go. And the first thing I wanna do is show you guys that incinerate damage. Look at the damage. Look at that. 
3,000, 2,000. That is insane. Okay. Uh, we're not going to talk too much about her lucky, unlucky um, mechanic. But one of the things that you want to do is get lucky like this. And then fire off the special two. Now, in this one, I didn't do that. Uh, one thing that you're going to learn with this Winter Soldier, especially, is that he doesn't play the way you might find him elsewhere. The Realm of Legends Winter Soldier, uh, the AI is a little funky. All right, so almost guaranteed he's going to fire specials off to keep you away from him. Uh, when you have something that's timing down beneficial to you and he has a special... He's going to fire it off to eat away uh, the time. But look at how fast we're going, even though I did not manage to get that. Now, here we go. Um, that time I did. And look at the damage. Okay. That time I got the special two off. And she was lucky. So we did extra damage. Even though this wasn't the perfect fight. Uh, if you look on YouTube, you will find uh, that... Some folks were able to take down Winter Soldier in six hits. They generally get hit, bait out, um, wait to get to their special two, get lucky, and then they fire the special two off. Now, in that previous video, I was running suicides. This video, uh, in this fight, I'm not running suicides. They were free. Uh, I think Kabam is changing the wording on parry to reflect what it does and so uh, not only are they compensating people that ranked up the parry but they also made masteries free to uh, rank up so I said okay even though I'm going for a champion right now in the arena I can turn it off make a video turn it back on get back to the arena all right so this fight is going to be a little bit longer but at least you can see uh, her damage without suicides, which is still insane. And right here, she got a critical bleed. Look at the bleeds, okay? And this is her without suicides. Uh, also, I took double um, deep wounds, so it's lasting uh, longer, because that goes very well with Domino. That crit bleed lasted longer than it normally would because I took deep wounds. All right, and then here, I'm going back to the heavy, which is still doing damage. Not as much as it was when I was uh, running suicides, but the other nice thing about that is that with suicides, if she's doing the parry heavy, she's not taking any recoil damage. So very, very, very nice. I like Domino. Uh, she is a great champion. I hope you guys can see that already, and just in case you didn't already know. Uh, I believe I've made a video on her uh, already, but if I haven't, I might make one uh, a little bit later. All right, so that's it for that fight. Uh, we're gonna have one last fight. In this fight, we're gonna go in without any synergies active for Domino. Uh, now I am running suicides uh, once again. I put them back, but I wanted you to see her damage so that you can compare Domino without any of the extra attack bonuses that the synergies brought. Uh, I did this heavy just so you could see, no incinerate. So that's a lot of damage gone. Uh, and what I'm trying to do is show you what her special two looks like when she gets lucky, which we didn't get there, as you saw. Uh, so I just said, all right, I'll just go to a special three. But I wanted you guys to see what it looks like without uh, any of the synergies. So her special three is still very good. Just look at the damage uh, that she's doing. Look at that, all right? Doesn't seem like a lot, but it's adding up, all right? Now, 
this time, see, I'm going to try to get to a special two again. Her special one is also pretty good. Uh, so we do both of those in this video. So watch for that. All right, here we go. We got lucky. Boom, boom. Look at that. That was almost 80K crits. And now we've got a 3,000 bleed just ticking away. Now, I don't have uh, deep wounds, so it didn't last as long. But just look at how much damage that did. In addition to all the crits we were doing uh, just normally there. It's crazy. All right. So here we go. I got lucky again. Boom, boom, again. Just look at that damage. That is her without any synergies. Uh, she will get that kind of insane bleeds even without suicides on. Boom, and there's the special one I was telling you about. Finish it off. All right, so that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.